It is well known that toxic work environments cause high turnover. But what's not well known is that the people leaving your organization are seldom the toxic ones. Allow a toxic work environment and you can say goodbye to your top performers because these employees have the greatest number of viable alternatives and they are the ones that feel life is way too short to work with jerks. If you found yourself in a toxic work environment, whether you're an employee, a manager, or even an executive, there are a few things you can do to turn around the work environment. First, deal with the real problem. The toxic individual's boss needs to tell the toxic carrier that if they do not change, they won't be able to continue working for your organization. If the person is terminated because they did not change, the entire organization will be more motivated to follow a leader who had the guts to do the right thing. Second, hire an executive coach. When someone has been allowed to negatively impact an entire work group or culture, it's difficult for them to change their communication and their leadership style. Most often, they're gonna need help in developing strategies and actions to successfully make this turnaround. Third, set a specific time frame for the change. When you are clear and you stick to that time frame, the change most likely is going to be successful. Sometimes the toxic individual quickly changes and exhibits new behaviors. Sometimes they actually leave, claiming that they can't work in this new environment and sometimes they end up getting fired. Fourth, tell the truth. Very seldom have I seen a toxic person quit on their own. The toxic contributor needs to hear the truth and know that changing their demeanor and approach is now a condition of their employment. Fifth, conduct an employee opinion survey. If you are unsure about the toxic contributor's locations, an employee opinion survey that breaks the data down by leader, by department, or by branch will give you a strong indicator of employee satisfaction at different levels and areas of your organization. And finally, utilize a Leadership 360 development assessment. Many times, toxic environments are exposed after an organization has conducted an employee engagement survey. Although employee surveys provide feedback by leader, department, or branch, they're usually not a big enough motivator to get a toxic leader to change their ways. A leadership development assessment has a much stronger chance and success in providing specific feedback that's going to motivate this leader to create an action plan and change. Even if you don't create the toxic work environment, you still can be a part of the antidote. If you found this video to be valuable, subscribe to our channel and sign up for our newsletters.